Welcome to Pro Stitch Your Light Tutorials. Let's walk through how to crop a design. There's a few different ways to do this, so let's take a look at the screen. First, we need to open a design. So we'll choose the File tab, Design, and then Open from the drop down. And I need to open my Designs folder, the PS Designs and Blocks. That's where we'll find the design I'm looking for. It's called Block of Lines right here. I can select it and then tap open and the design will open on my screen. I'm just going to move it up so it's within my frame space where I'll be able to quilt it. Next, we want to create an area. You have to have an area to be able to crop. So let's move my machine to about right here. We'll select the area tab and tap to corner. Moving the machine down and over to the right, I'll tap two corner again, and I have just created a square area there. Next, let's find the crop feature. It's found under the modify tab and then choose crop on the ribbon. Right now, I have no crop selected in the sidebar. If I want to crop the outside part away, meaning what is outside of the area, I'll tap outside. You can see that that gets rid of all that design that's outside of the area. If I want to do an inside crop, I'll tap inside. And you can see there it's essentially cut a hole in the center of the design. Now we can close our edges, meaning connect all those stitches and get rid of all those start and stop points by touching that edges button. There's one other way to crop. It's by using my start and end points. I'm going to tap no crop here and I'll show you how to do this. First, we need to move our start and end points. So we'll go to the Pro Stitcher tab, select new start and end, and then I will move my start point down in this design to about right there. Actually, I'll do it just a little bit further. Now let's go back to that crop. Let's go to the Modify tab. Crop is still selected on the ribbon. And here in the sidebar, I will tap Start End. You can see that it removed all of the design that was before my start point. Remember, after cropping a design, be sure to baseline before you stitch.